25th and December 26th Current Affairs 2017. Good Governance Day 2017. Mumbai gets India's first ever air-conditioned local train. Bangalore becomes the first Indian city to have its own logo. India's first runway on sea bridge to be built at Agadir Airport. World's longest glass bridge opens in China. UP government signs MOU with South Korea. Book on Gordon Longkesh's writings launched. Dr. Jitendra Singh launched EHRMS on Good Governance Day. Good Governance Day is observed annually on December 25th, the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajayi. Good Governance Day was established in 2014 to honor Mr. Vajayi by fostering awareness among the people of accountability in government. In keeping with this principle, the Good Governance Day has been declared to be a working day for the government. The Indian Railways flagged off the country's first air-conditioned suburban local train for Mumbai commuters, 150 years after the first suburban local was held by a steam engine in 1867. The train will start full-fledged operations from January 1, 2018, with 12 daily services. According to the Western Railway Chief Spokesperson Ravinder Booker, six return services, total 12, shall be operated on the suburban sector at regular intervals on all weekdays, with the weekend kept free for maintenance purposes. The Karnataka government launched the Bengaluru City logo, the first Indian city to do so, in a bid to resurrect its image as a tourism destination. With this, it joins cities like Amsterdam in the Netherlands and New York in the US to have its own logo. The logo was designed by Naumer, a design startup, which won a contest and received a prize money of Rs 5 lakh from the government. India is all set to get its first runway on a sea bridge, as the Airports Authority of India AAI, has been given a nod to extend Lakshadweep's Agadir Airport. The task will be carried out by building an RCC platform on the beach and shallow area which will allow bigger ATRs to operate to the island. The AAI had earlier planned of linking two adjacent islands for the purpose of extending the runway. The world's longest glass bridge was opened to the public. It is located in Shijiazhuang, Hebei Province near Beijing, the capital of China. The bridge stretches 488 meters long and 2 meters wide. It stands at 218 meters above the valley between two steep cliffs in Hangyaku Scenic Area in Pingshan County. It is made of 1,077 panes of transparent glass with each being 4 centimeters thick and weighs a total of 70 metric tons. The Uttar Pradesh UP, government signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU, with South Korea to enhance cooperation in the field of tourism, skill development, culture and farming. An agreement was signed in 2000 to develop Ayodhya and Jimhae as sister cities, following which a memorial was constructed in Ayodhya which is visited by a large number of tourists from South Korea every year. A book containing selected writings by late journalist Rory Longesh was launched at the Mumbai Press Club, three months after she was gunned down. The book, The Way I See It A Rory Longesh Reader, has been edited by writer and sociologist Chandan Gowda. The six sections of the book comprise Longesh's early reportage in various publications and selected articles she wrote for the Kannada language Rory Longesh Patrick, which she edited. The Union Minister of State, Independent Charge of the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region, Donor, Dr. Jitendra Singh launched the Electronic Human Resource Management System, EHRMS. He launched it during the observance of Good Governance Day by the Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions. The minister launched the 25 applications of five modules of the system. The e-service book launched for DPT during March this year will also be integrated into the EHRMS. <laughs>